The Mount Washington Auto Road is America's oldest man-made attraction, and every three years, they run a race to the top. Earlier this year, I got to run this in that race. My name is Ian Cook, and this is my road to Washington. This is Travis Pastrana in the Subaru Air Slayer, being run on Saturday, practice day, a little bit after it had rained. I decided to sit out because I'm only slightly better at driving than I am at handling this camera. It's not exactly my style with only rear wheel drive and slick tires to drive on a wet surface. So you might be wondering, what the heck is this thing? And if you already know, why are you taking an asphalt modified up a winding mountain road? Well, as the saying goes, it's in your blood. My dad started racing when I was 16 years old, and man, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I'd go with him to Stafford Speedway and help out any way I could. But from the moment he hit the track, I knew I wanted to get in the driver's seat. Circle track racing is simply outside the budget for a 16-year-old, but I found a substitute. Autocross and a Mazda Miata. I stumbled into hill climb racing and I ended up doing pretty well after modifying the car a little bit. But I always wanted to do something different. I wanted to bring some of that circle track racing back to the mountain. I'm not the first to try this. Kevin Gale has one of the more iconic cars in the group and there's a picture of him jumping at Mount Escutney. I saw that and thought, man, I want to do that. And along came Roy Spaulding's old car, and for the right price, I had to do it. This thing weighed the same as my old car, but had about 500 more horsepower. It was an absolute handful. Now, if I were wise, I would have slowly found the limits of the car. But instead, I found them rather abruptly. My second race with the car, I put the car in the ditch. I'm still not quite sure how. The silver lining was, I was forced to redesign the front suspension. And after tinkering through the 2020 lockdowns, I had all four wheels attached again and brought it to an autocross for testing. It's not every day you see a car like this driving around some traffic cones. I actually had too much power for a small parking lot course, and I took the secondary linkage off the carburetor to cut the power down. The season ended at Club Motorsport with a blown transmission. The motor was getting tired too, and it was time for an overhaul. I brought the bare chassis to Make It Labs to set up a new main roll hoop. I also needed to build an engine, set up a transmission, and install a rear axle. All of this needed to be done before the start of the season. Twenty one started with some autocross. The car was running good, really good. I was getting comfortable with the controls, and the suspension work made the car much more predictable. One time the guys over at Nedco heard me at the autocross course and invited me to try some drift. Here's how that went. Thank <laughs> you. 
That last clutch kick didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. But I did get the car to drift for a couple of seconds, and that was pretty cool. I'm definitely going to come back and try this again. Then I tried a track day with Com Sports Car Club. That did not go well. After my instructor let me go, I lost oil pressure going into turn one. With only a month left before Washington, this is not what I needed. You can see me try to fire it up, and the oil pressure gauge doesn't even budge. It turns out my oil tank has the pickup all the way in the back. Under hard braking, all the oil sloshes forward and runs away from the pickup. The solution? Overfill the tank. Unfortunately, we found that out after disassembling the oil system. My last test was at Canaan. This was the first time I made it through a track day event without a mechanical failure. That was a major relief considering the recent oil starvation. I had barely relearned how to drive this thing. And with Washington only a few weeks away, I was about to find out if my preparation was enough. Want to support the channel? Like, share, subscribe, or go to our online store in the link below for shirts, hats, hoodies, and all the latest apparel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the track.